what's up everybody it's nerp here and oh what's this look i'm on my other account yep i'm on nerp the ninja right now because i'm gonna try a little something different today um i want to make a ranked match video i want to play some scrolls but i don't want to play ranked on my main account because i am at number one so there's really not much of a point to playing so i will be playing with my other account it's all the way down at 16 17 i don't even know if i'm in the top 100 probably not but we're not trying to rank up really right now. What I'm going to try to do is, as you see, I have zero gold. That's because I traded all of my golds in this account and scrolls that I'm allowed to trade. That means not the precons. Um, traded all of that stuff to my main account. So I have all my stuff on my main account for one waypoint hits. But what I do have in this account is the four pre-constructed decks. Um, they're not here because I like deleted the actual deck, but you still get to keep the scrolls. And so all I have in this account are uh, the four pre-constructed decks that you get. Um, when you like when you buy scrolls you'll have a free growth deck um and then when you beat like order three times you get like growth at order and like energy five times energy and decay seven times decay i'm not sure if that's correct i think i've mixed up the order and the energy ones but what i'm going to try to do is try to win a ranked match with the pre-constructed decks this seems like a hard task um the pre-constructed decks are pretty darn bad only 21 creatures here and we're gonna start with order i mean it has a bunch of good scrolls but it's probably it's a pretty bad deck not very optimal for a uh, ranked play but also it's good i'm doing this on my second hand i would not go into a ranked match on my main account with a pre-constructed deck so that's the pre-constructed deck um there will be the text in the, in the description and um i think this is a good rating about to play right now because i don't know I think I might be able to beat somebody with a pre-construct deck around this rating, I'm not sure. Um, and also, with I, I think Scrolls will get an influx of new players soon with a uh, release. So, if they see this, then that could be some encouragement that you can win with bad decks and not getting better scr scrolls. But I guess what I just said is going to be proved false if I don't win. But, yeah, so I think I'm going to try to do a video with each of the pre-constructed decks, and I will be back when I find a match. Oh, okay. Sorry about that. I'm back. This is a ranked match. Good luck. Have fun. Lazy guy does not know I'm playing the order pre-constructed deck. And I guess it's... I don't know. Do I want to keep this in? No, because I don't have, like, a two-drop or a three-drop. And this is a much better hand. Ooh, like an aggro deck's going on here. Let's play Roll Infinite. Let's screw with his mind. He'll be like, what's going on? Also, it will, it will make my Wing Soldier not soul stealable. But this guy's still soul, soul stealable. So the cross women, though. Um, let's see how this works out. Hello, Norp. Norp, Norp. Okay. Uh, make sure you check out the Top Scrolls Plays of the Week if you haven't already. That came out on Friday. And that's annoying. Um, I can't even come on busting a face. Um, I will go ahead, sacrifice the summons, play a ducal infantryman. See, look, they're buffing each other. So you're getting extra attack, you're getting extra health. It's interesting that uh, the ducal infantryman gets more health than the, inf the royal infantryman by default. I find that very odd. Because this is the guy who's supposed to be like health buffs. Um, let's go ahead and just sacrifice our resources and play Bring Soldier. I could Kabonk Blessing and Pace this guy, but is that really worth it? I don't think so. And let's get. I don't know what I want to do here. Let's just. I want you to slowly get into the front row. Because uh, I don't like you having one health now, actually. Whatever. But this guy's zero attack, so I gotta get him in the front row. Let's see what I can do. Lazy you got, it's probably very confusing right now why I have a royal infantryman on the board. Um, puts that in front, and a rot eater, okay. So now, what do I want to do? Fleetness. Let's just go ahead and kabonk. And see if we can draw something we could play. Summons. Summons is good against AK. Blessing of Haste is good. Fleetness. I think Fleetness might be better. Let's play the summons. Shrine. Not really what I was looking for. I'm going to sacrifice the shrine. 
Shrine could actually be pretty good. I'm going to sacrifice the fleetness, actually. Blessing Phase could come in handy. And there, we get a creature we can play next turn if we want to. Um, and unfortunately, I will be vulnerable to a Soul Steal on this guy this turn. Because you're not in the front row yet. I probably I should have probably just kept him in the back. Um, so interesting, Lazy God has order now. Looks like he's playing an interesting deck. Um, and I'm going to push back. We should go with the push back to gain more tempo, right? That sounds about right. Wait, actually, can I focus and then kill both? No, I can't. If I focus, we'll see if haste can I kill both. Focus, you would give you three attack. So then I could kill that, and then you'll have, and then I could busting a face you. Okay, I, I can destroy these guys if I focus busting a face, unless what I'm going to do. And I'll get rid of the Royal Spearman. I, I don't know, I, I feel like I want to keep that shrine. It could be kind of fun. Focus. Blessing base. Probably wasn't worth it using both of those rolls to kill the guy. Because I could have just pushed back there, but then he would have got it back. So far, so good. So far, the pre constructed deck for uh, Order is winning this ranked match. Damn curse on a two cost creature. I'm completely fine with him doing that in his entire turn. I'll sacrifice the focus right now um, and play a shrine top back like that and then a crossbowman right in the middle look at all this health crossbowman only has two health usually has four health now because of the shrine and the infantryman it's actually kind of fun i'm um, looking forward to do it with all the factions i guess you can't decide if the deck is able to win in the rank within one game because i could win or lose pretty easily but it's fun either way I'm gonna sacrifice the plate armor for scrolls, I think. I don't know, I don't think armor is that important versus decay. So let's get rid of the plate armor. I want to keep the imperial bases for later, but I don't want to just ramp up to it now because I think that would be a little odd. Uh, I could push you back, I don't think that's worth it. I think I should save that versus decay against uh, like a witch doctor, or a big rot eater, or a low cancel and harvester. So I guess I'll just go with the crown of strength. Um, so this is the problem with having, that's the problem with having so little creatures, having only, having only, what, 21 creatures burn in this deck? It's hard to draw what you want to draw. It's not optimal, like, you don't get all your 3 cost, 4 cost creatures all the time. I should probably, I should, should have probably played that Spearman before instead of the Shrine, or sacrificed the, sh the Shrine instead of the Spearman. Languid on him. So now both of these, he used both languids on my infantryman. And he's sacrificing for decay. Ripper. Alright. Let's see. Okay, now we got a Ducal Skirmisher. I'm going to go ahead, instead of pushbacking you, which could be useful, I'm actually going to sacrifice the new orders for resources. Actually, not yet, because I'm not going to be able to ramp up to this soon, so I'll just have her for scrolls. Ooh, Ducal Spearman is cool, but... Yeah, so I'm going to put you up here. Too bad. I'm sacrificing it. Um, and then I'm going to... I'm going to try to get you towards the front. <laughs> and put the Ducal Skirmisher right here. Alright, so the Ducal Skirmisher is a pretty... Nice guy to play because he is pretty strong. So I didn't want to just let him destroy the shrine without. I'd rather just let him destroy Royal Infantryman. Because now my one, my two health creatures have three health anyways to protect them from soul steals because of the shrine. So, and you get you have zero attack. This dude has zero attack. Witch Doctor. Okay, so we might need to use our pushback for that. He does not destroy this guy. Probably because I could have just came down and destroyed him. Frostwind. Uh. I think I'm gonna sacrifice it and play the Spearman. Yeah, that's what I'm gonna do. I'm going to sacrifice it, play the Spearman and the Aging Knight. I'm gonna move up. I'm gonna. 
put pressure on you. I'd actually rather s rather have you survive just a bit and play a Duke of Spearman. Let's just get an Asian Knight going down here. Start pinging the idol a little bit. And next turn, I can sacrifice the resources and play a pushback. And the turn after that, Imperial resources. This is probably going a lot better than it should be going. Um, I seem to be per getting pretty good draws with a pre-constructed deck. Like, remember, there's not like three of the good scrolls in this deck. There's like one or two. Okay. Not sure what... Not sure what Lazy God is ranked. Let me search this up. Lazy God. Alright, so he's about 1500. Which is, I think 1500 is like, like a very, very, very average rating. Just like the most average rating of all ratings. <laughs> Reaping Mask. That's, that hurts. Um... So, what can I do here? If I push back, if I push the Witch Doctor back, I can destroy this Arabian Mass Ripper, but then this Hunter gets an attack off. Um, I could push this back and deal three, and deal f actually four damage. I can move the Infantryman in front, but four damage wouldn't kill it, so there's not really much of a point in doing that. I really wish I had like focus. And I can't just sacrifice Skirmisher for, for scrolls to try to get a focus because um, there's uh, there's not that many focuses in the deck and I already drew one I think. So I think I'll just do the safe play and just do the pushback on the Witch Doctor. And may as well go like that. And deal damage closer to the middle. So next turn I can go with Imperial Resources and heal my guys, heal my idols, and draw scrolls. So let's see what the hunter decides to destroy. I'm a little worried now because he has more resources than me. And he can go with like, he can play the witch doctor again. Which probably is what he's gonna do. But that would be risky. If he has like a damage curse, he might, he might rather do that to get rid of this guy. Because the runtless guy is always a key concern. Sacrifices for scrolls. And he just goes for the Witch Doctor, okay, and probably destroys the Duke of German because it's a little more important. Alright, so now, Flip. Flip, is a, Flip would be a really important scroll to have for this Witch Doctor, but I think it's a smarter play right now to play the Imperial Resources because I have more options. Um, and I'll give the extra health. He has Order, so he might go for... probably has like Harvester Tempo Thefts in his deck. He can't do that this turn because he only has... BC doesn't have anything attacking, but he might have like a blessing of haste. So I want to make sure this guy's at least protected a little bit. So I'll make sure you are protected a little bit, um, like a blessing of haste on the witch doctor or something. And that will be that. So the shrine is actually getting in the way a little bit. Let's see if I could draw like a, a pod. I'm not even sure. Is there a pod there in the order preconstructed? I probably should have looked at the order preconstructed before going to a ranked match with it. Um, I have eight resources now, so we can do pretty big plays. Hmm. Moves up, running away a little bit, and he probably wants to get a human in front of the Switch Doctor. If he doesn't, yeah, he gets he gets the Oblivion Seeker. Okay, so. That's not too good. And I'm going shamble down there. Now I'm a little bit worried. Heritage, Thought Trap. Thought Trap and a Harvester is so good. I kind of want to keep the other stuff. Um, let's go ahead and sacrifice. Although Thought Trap and a Harvester is really good. He has like Temple Theft, so I don't think I'll... It would be that important. Another shrine. I have no attack buff, so that's that's a little annoying. Um. Okay. I can't just. 
I think I'm gonna have to let one shrine die. Or I could... I'll go like this, so I'll go... I'll sacrifice this guy. So... Like that. Heritage on you. And then a vanguard. In the middle, he might have a marker, so I'll just put it here. That's not too much worse. And I'm not too lined up for... He could go with a Harvester's Temple theft this turn. So... Maybe I'll move you over a little bit. No, I'm going to actually keep it like that. Only has two scrolls, so the chances of these Harvest Jump at are not that high. I take Middle Idol out, which is awesome. And I could maybe break down these idols. And I can go, I have another Shrine in hand, and I have a Wing Charge. Wing Charger is the weak Order 5 drop. 5, 2, 4. 4, 5. A big attack, though. Let's see. I don't think there's any roasted bean potions or stuff in this deck. I'm going to draw scrolls with the heritage. Harvester. Alright. Draw scrolls. Power bound. Not what I really want. Horn of Ages. I do not have a puppet soldier. <laughs> Power bound. Shrine. Let's get rid of the power bound for scrolls. Pushback is a very good thing to have right now. Um, do I Horn of Ages in case he has a speed or a tempo theft? Because if he has a speed or a tempo theft, he can easily do stuff to me. Actually, not really if I move away from the Harvester. Um, let's go. Let's take the middle right here. And unfortunately, this guy's probably gonna be able to. I'll move him here. Get a wings charger out in front. So you have five health. Uh, seven plus ten. All right. So if he has a harvester tempo theft, um, so he still wouldn't be able to destroy this vanguard, which is good right now. And then I'll put a another shrine. No, I want to protect this shrine with a crossbowman. All right. And the reason I put the crossbowman here instead of here, this bottom row, because I think it's harder for him. Actually, it's not. You could just put a creature here, and it'd be locked in to destroy that row. So for what I just said, I thought it might be harder for him to have the Mary Shambler kill it on this row. Um, so we have to keep all of that, but I guess the growth, the order precon has two pushbacks. I didn't know that. Um, is I already played a pushback. It'll be tough to choose the harvester or the witch doctor to push back. He might be trying to get the Myers Channel to destroy this wing charger. Right, so that's annoying because now you're just going to have three attack and it's another focus in the deck. I'd really like it right now. I'm not sure what other attack buffs are on the deck. Um... I don't, I'm, don't mind that harvester too much if it's not attacking anything important, though. Blight Bear, and... Let's see, let's see. And he, is he going to run away? Alright, so I probably should have moved the Skirmisher up. But this actually is not too bad. So I guess it's two-thirds chance of it attacking there. Ooh, Pother. So this does have Pother. This does have Pother. Uh, let's go ahead and... Pother doesn't really help right now, does it? It doesn't help right now. Hmm. I could just run away from these guys up here and destroy the Harvester. Horn of Ages. Horn of Ages isn't too bad. I think Horn of Ages is going to be a play this turn. Yes, yeah, so let's... Let's go for the pother on on the harvester. Let's get rid of the harvester, and then let's go ahead and sac. Do we need two shrines? I don't think so. Sacrifice a shrine for scrolls. 
Yeah, sacrifice a shrine for scrolls. All right, Horn of Ages. So you can't hurt me now. Go like this. Oh, now you guys can't attack there. Uh, keep you up here, and then a skirmisher, and then a crown of strength on that skirmisher. Awesome. If I put a crown check, does one extra damage. Never mind. All right. Sorry about the noise. One second. I can close it over. All right, I think that was a good puppet soul, uh, Horn of Ages. All right, so you're gonna die, but you were not too meaningful, anyways. Okay, so he does idle damage, and here we are. Kabonk. I guess that's good. To have. I'm gonna sacrifice the Royal Spearman here. I like these two utility scrolls I have in hand. Speed. Do I have lethal? Speed pushback. Is that lethal? If I push back this, I believe it is. Huh. Wow. I think I just pushed back this. I could push back that too. Whatever. So I'll push back this. And then speed. G G W P. Alright, so that is the game, and uh, wow, we won with the Order Precon. Let's see if we can win with the uh, other three Precons. Um, so he was, he was like 1500 rating. Yeah, he was about 1500. He was 1491. Um, and 10 rating. Doesn't really matter. Alright, so if you're a beginner player, you can win with Preconstructed decks in ranked toward, against an average rated opponent. He was very average rated, middle of the pack, 1500, and we were able to win. So that's pretty cool. And I, comment below if you, you like me doing this kind of thing, these next probably four ranked matches maybe. Um, I think it's a little nice change of pace. It's not as competitive, but um, it's pretty fun. So thank you for watching. Subscribe if you want more content like this. Like the video if you enjoyed, and Submit your place to me at northenage at gmail.com to be on top place of the week and keep on scrolling scrollgers. I'll see you next time.